Hey guys, it's Mel. I'm so excited. Look what came in the mail today. So I've been looking at these and I've been watching you girls and guys. I've seen a couple um, guys doing videos as well um, with their planners. And I thought, gosh, you guys are putting a lot of work into these planners that have... Um, they're so beautiful but then you know once you're past that day but it's just like scrapbooking people say that i wouldn't do all that work for a photo album so you've got to be into art and into all these things so i decided i'm going to try my hand at the planner craze i don't know if i like it i'm definitely a newbie um i've been watching some videos and i think it's really fun how everybody has their own little twist on how they um dress up their planners some do it more plain some really go all out so i think it'll be fun so i got my my cute little box so i figured i'd open it with you guys so i ordered mine from a cherry on top um it was 34.99 which is a really great price for the whole kit and i'll show you what i which one i chose so i was torn on which one and i liked um i liked a lot of them i like the light pink because i like the interior of the light pink and um a lot of them are they're all different um what size the planners like the pages are basically the same but the dividers and the i guess the style so i couldn't choose but here's what i ended up choosing so we'll open it together so um a lot of people were complaining it comes in this really nice box a lot of people were complaining that their box um and they showed that their box was all bent up from when they order it from different places but mine um it has a little dent in it but it's not it came i was pretty happy with how it came so i was happy there um the boxes wouldn't have been a deal breaker anyway as long as what's inside's protected but it is a cute little box so i'm happy to see that mine um, was nice so that's first so then first you get this little um vellum foil gold foiled sheet that just says hello welcome to webster pages established 1986 um so that's cute and i've seen a lot of people cut them up and here is the one that i chose um after pondering and pondering but trying not to take too long because i know that these all sold out and they were hard to find um i chose the teal and white stripe so i was torn between the gold the one I like the most, I kind of like the gold, but I wasn't sure. I'm real funny with gold, and I, I like a brighter gold, not a dark one. And I've also read some people say that some of the gold was wearing off. So you get mixed reviews, and you have to just, you know, just make a decision for yourself. But I'm happy with what I chose. I hope I end up, you know, after time being happy. Um, I'm not sure if this leather will wear off. So um, mine was in good shape. I also seen some people complain that their stitching was off and um, various things. There's a little pull right here, but that's not going to bother me. Um, but I did see that. And I just wonder, if is this white going to get dirty? Is it going to wear off? But I really like this one. So, And then it has little gold foiling in the Webster's pages on the side. Love this heart. I kind of wish it was on the front. And then it has the little um, the button here. I do wish this has Webster's pages. So it has a nice little embellishment here. And this, this all is gold stitching. I do, however, wish that this was gold. Um, I'm just phony like that. You know, want everything to match and not be gold and silver. But whatever. It's not a deal breaker, obviously. And then it comes with this little tag with the gold... Um, with the gold chain it says this one in particular says love whoops they all say different things on them so overall for the outside you know i was happy they had a couple little um like cardboard pieces but they came off so we're in good shape there so you open the snap and also this closure i've seen some people complain they didn't like how like um i guess how wide that is i'm kind of glad it's like that um because I plan on putting some more things on it and I'll show you what in a second. So I also ordered, but I ended up doing them separately. I ordered the um, a different set of the page dividers because I'm not really crazy with the ones that come in, in here. So, and I'll show you what I mean. So let me see if I can zoom in a little. Okay, so um, again, so some people didn't like this, that it had extra room, like it wasn't, you know, quite tight to here, but I just like that it gives you, it's not a crazy, mine is, and I look like on other videos, though, that some people's looked a little bigger than that, so I wonder if that was the case. So, let's get started. So you open it up, and um, right here on the first page, there is, I heard somebody call it something, and this wasn't a dashboard, but they called it, um, what did she call it? some name that I don't know and most of you are probably watching this are like that's what it is but I don't know but it's like a clear acetate sheet here that kind of protects this which is nice and it has this nice little foiled message that may be glary and it says nothing can dim the light that shines from within um <clears throat> my Angela so that's really cute and I like that on there um so they all have little inspirational things so first it comes with I'll show you this let me get this out of here little sticker sheet 
which is nice. Um, they seem very cartoonish to me, <laughs> but um, they remind you of the emojis on the iPhone. So there's a ton of little stickers in there, so that's nice. So um, that was actually in the back of the box, but I'll just put it back in here. So it has this little flap on the side, and then it has two little holes that a lot, I've heard people say they use it as their wallet, like for their credit cards or debit card. Then there's a nicer pocket in here, and it says um, has the Webster's Pages and established 1986 and the gold foiled and then it just has this in here to which is nice to protect the i'll take that out to protect the rings um a lot of people i've heard them also say that um let me see if i'm too zoomed in no it's okay um i've heard a lot of people say that they weren't happy because their rings weren't all the way closed and um i must have been watching some negative <laughs> you know uh reviews there was more positive than negative but you know it, everybody you know, they're not all going to come the same and everybody has different opinions but um mine i was happy to see that mine are all you know nice and closed so we're good there and it has the gold interior rings the six ring if anybody knows that you planner addicts watching if anybody knows where you can get a an expensive um six hole punch for these um let me know i've seen some on amazon i've seen some people use the the one i guess it's some type of diary one and then you flip it twice so i don't know if i want to do a lot of measuring because i'll be the one to have you know jacked up holes but <laughs> um let me know if you know where somewhere and it's a shame because i think i seen one at um at the goodwill store before and i should have picked it up this was before i was decided on a planner but whatever so anyway so then next is this little and this is on a nice um this actually feels thicker than the first than this hello um page this is a nice heavy um like a heavy vellum so then you have the um it's a two dashboards here i've heard people say and let me know leave me a message in the comments i love to hear any input or anywhere to buy i've seen some people say on etsy i just don't know which shop that have cute little um like little doodads and things for um for your planners so if anybody knows any etsy shops to recommend let me know um but there's two dashboards in here i've heard people say that you could put your little sticky notes or your page flags and they'll stick to there and you just you know don't put the whole pack put some so it doesn't bulk up your planner and then here's what i got um a new one of and i was going to wait to do the video until then um to show you because the one i got's really cute and i really don't care for these that came in this but i thought i'd rather replace these little dividers that and get the outside one that i want than get a planner I didn't necessarily want just because of the inside part so hopefully that makes sense so this is the one it comes with it's okay it's not bad this is the cover sheet so then you flip that over and then it has um, your property of your name your address your phone your email and it says more products available at websterspages.com WDP and then it has these tabs here and this is what I'm not crazy about I don't really want um, I'm kind of going for the, like the teal color scheme and then the black and this is another thing some people complain they didn't like this black uh, pen loop because it threw them off like a lot of times they have all these pretty colors in the color crush collection and um then they have this black hoop here that kind of they don't like it because it's just too the colors kind of mix but it doesn't really bother me that much um but that's just something to consider if you didn't like that um but so here's the first page and again with the black it just seems harsh for this i don't know the summary to me you know whatever so this one says the tab say as follows write it down memory keeping list to love um staying inspired and calendar and this is the only thing i got um replacements up they were 650 um and i ordered that from cherry on top but i i wanted to add it to my order but all of a sudden they said oh no it's already shipped which i knew it wasn't but um that's fine that's my fault so i went i had to do another order and then i just got regular um regular first class shipping so hopefully that'll be here soon because it's so pretty the one i ordered because it matches these pages so you flip this one over and it says write it down and there's like a little um typewriter so it's really cute and it says thoughts ideas and dreams and there's like little washi tape i've heard someone say they're kind of because of webster's pages they do um scrapbooking um i'm hoping it's not too bright and you guys can see this okay um yeah i guess um so anyway they have the things that are you know where scrapbookers are into the typewriter washi tapes and the different things so then th there's a bunch of those pages which are nice i always like to write lists and shopping thing and keep it all in one place so that's my plan this one says memory keeping and then as you see it has this really cute um old-fashioned camera and it says month a day in the life and it says day one all the way to day 31 so little things you want to remember um what you did throughout the month so i think that's really cute and there's a ton of them and then on the back it says um 
really hope you can see this so I don't have to film this all over again and I'm probably in my own light. Um, this says um, projects, sketches, and there's this little area here and it says blank said this, blank said, 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 remember this, month, day, and year. And then like I that said, the pages are just decorated. So I'm just going to lift this up case in this video. It's just too bright. Um, and then you get a bunch of those throughout that whole, and they give you a really nice amount. So that's good. Um, and I heard also that they're going to be, they don't have them yet, but they're going to be sending, like selling the refills for like the following year or maybe extra pages to buy coming in the future, which I think is great. Um, some of these actually are shipping out, um, with 2016, um, inserts because it does kind of stink that, um, I'm just now getting it and we're, we're already into April already. But at the same time, I don't think I'd want to wait for the 2016 because I don't want to wait till 2016 to start this. So I'd rather just do that and then have the opportunity to buy the next year refill. <clears throat> and people were also saying they hope it comes out by fall of this year so that they can start adding and working on their pages. So we'll see. So um, this says list to love. And then you go in here and it says, um, here it says to do's. And it says, close your eyes and imagine the unlimited possibilities. And there's all these like aligned with the check boxes. This one says monthly goals, January through December, um, plan and do. And then there's lines one to 10 and then there's due date and the check boxes. So that's nice just to kind of, you get, if there's something you want to do, like I want to clean out my pantry and these closets and you know, just little goals like that. Um, sometimes if I see them written down, I'll be like more inclined to do it because I'm like, oh, that's been sitting on my list for a couple days. So hopefully this planner thing works for me. So I'm get, I'm excited. So this says menu and it says Monday through Sunday or shopping list here. So that's what the back size um, does. So then there's a, you know, decent amount there. Then this one says staying expired and it's like the pink color, watercolor. Then they have these little pages here and it says um you can do anything that's really pretty and i've seen people and i'm going to do the same thing and i already have photos in mind for these pages you could do you know a lot of different things but um or you could just leave them plain but i've seen people put little photos of their family which is what i'm going to do um or their kids or any any little photo that maybe inspires you like maybe if you saw a craft room that you want to build your craft room to look like just little inspiration things i think would be really nice so they these page these pages are pretty to leave as they are so this one says dream big then there's just like the newspaper print dream big um, enjoy every moment little birdies and the eggs and flowers this is a pretty like watercolor look and there's a hummingbird right there all different colors this wouldn't be paper i'd normally pick is a little bit um not my style but i think it's cute and sometimes it's nice to have something different so sorry i'm going to, if i'm going too fast this is a little gumball machine with the flowers so they all kind of coordinate and flow into the next page this little wood grain so you could do what you want. I'm going to do a bunch of pictures and I think in sepia color from my selfie, my Canon selfie, I think would look really nice with the tones of these papers. So, um, but I can't wait to change out these. Um, and like I said, they're not bad. So I don't know, I could put, I've seen some people put them up on like eBay or something just for case somebody does like these because there's all different people who want to order the white one, but they might like the inserts that come with another pack and they are selling them like individually. So um that will be nice so we'll see but i'm really excited for the ones that i come with and i'll show you it's the ones that have like that heart balloon did i pass that already maybe it's later back here so now we're to a section and what was this one this says calendar duh um so this was the january's foiled this january on this one is a, the foils like a little wore off again that's not a deal breaker for me but i mean and then also on one of the months was it april one of them were like it looked a little dirty here it is like i don't know if you can even see that but there's just a couple scratches and dents on there but i don't know if that just happened in you know transport whatever but again not deal breaking but so this says january 2015 and then they, i believe they all probably look alike so i'll just i won't go through every single month but um so it says january 2015 it's got um the calendar and what's nice is these ones have little there you might not be able to pick it up in the camera but they're like little faint lines um in there and then it says a quick list all the way down here and extra space to write they show you the month before the month after um just like normal calendars and then on the back here it says uh this and that it says little notes and daily memories for a well-planned life and then here's what it is so i ordered the dividers that match this because i think all the pages that everybody gets in their planner have this on it but then you have 
whatever style your planner divider came with or if you did you know special ones so i ordered these ones so they're on their way and that's like the front page i really like that balloon it's just a nice little scene with the flowers and the clouds and the sunshine so um that's what I was looking for to show you guys. So then you're into February and really quick. So this already passed, so I won't need this. So maybe I could just use these to jot notes on and just use these extra lines and stuff. And we're already past March. So, so yep, it looks like it's the same on all of them with these balloons back here, which is really cute. So I like that. So I'm in April. Then it gives you this little, um, so here's where we are now. Of course, the dirty one, <laughs> but um, I could put a photo there. We can fix that up, right? So um, then it gives you this little, um, I'm sure this is called something, but I don't know if it's just a bookmark or what, but it's hard. It's a really hard uh, plastic and it has gold little polka dots and it says um, right now on here. So you can, and what's good is this just comes out. You don't have to like un, because I don't like to quick, I don't, I don't want to keep opening these um, things too much, but I guess I have to when I put inserts in them. And um, <clears throat> so it has that little bookmark there. And I like how these are all gold foiled, like all the, just the little touches on here. So they're all pretty much the same and it goes all the way to December of 2015. And then I guess that's when you would order, order more. And again, all the back says this and that, little notes and daily memories for a well-planned life. And it says day one to day 31. So you can write, you know, whatever you're doing or whatever you did do. Um, this is the section that I like because it gives me a little more space to play. So it says week planner, January through December to, uh, 2015, and it says two page per week view. So let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Maybe it won't. There we go. It says two page uh, per week. So then it just has, um, it says at the top, it says, let's say this week and then um, December 2015. Why am I, wait, I'm guessing that should probably be December of 2014. I just started here just to give you a couple extra days because here's January 2015. I'm guessing maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it gives you, so here's January 1st and here's Thursday. So you have a big space to write and then Friday you have a big space to write or this is where people put stickers and stamps and everything in there. So that's where it gives you some nice room and it's all neutral tones. Um, so that, you know, it's just like a tan color up here. So whatever you decide to decorate these with, it won't be something too overpowering. It just has the WP for Webster's pages at the bottom. So that goes all the way to, I guess that's the rest of it. Let me say. There might be a few more things. Yep, there is a few more things in the back. But So it goes all the way to December, and it doesn't give you any extra, I believe. So, you know, sometimes they'll give you, like, the first week in January at least. Or maybe it does. So here's January 2016. That'll give you to the third, so on that last page. Then I really like this page here. It says um, she, and it's gold foiled, and it says she designed a life she loved, and it says Webster's Pages, and then for reorders. So I think that's really cute. Um, so then in the back, they give you another one of these clear, what did she call it? Chicken pages? Something? <laughs> I forget. So I heard, I was watching somebody that sounded like she was more of a seasoned, uh, planner user and she called them something, <laughs> but I can't remember what it was. Just the clear ones, not the ones that say dashboard. Then there's this, um, like clear pocket and you can actually put things in. So, um, let me see if I can, here, I'll, will these fit in there? These might be too wide, but just to show you, because you probably, yeah, that is too wide. Here we go. This is the little cardboard thing. Not that this is fun to look at. Oh, I found something fun, because this is what I wanted to show you. So I want to, um, these cards were given to me by um, a friend, a YouTube watcher. So hello, Gladys, if you're watching. She sent me these really pretty cards, and as well as um, Tina sent me a bunch of cards that I think will match really well. Um, whoops here's some of the ones Tina gave me will match really well in here so like how cute would this be so that's why I wanted to get the hole punch how this is gold foiled and this was like a Heidi swap so how cute would this be some of these cards just in here just as little inspiration or a little fun when you open it up it says well hello there so I thought these would be cute so thank you again Gladys for giving me these and Tina and um I want to include some of these like this will be appropriate beautiful new day so um just to have a little uh a mix match of you know your little things in there so that's why i wanted the hole punch so let me show you is that too big yes it is so i'll show you this one will probably show up so here's like a little gold foil tag this is one of the ones gladys gave so you can just put your little things in here so if you have extra post-its um paper clips i don't know what 
probably not paper clips wouldn't be a good idea because you could stick them what is this hole for um what did i somebody say they put in there but i figured paper clips can go up there but like if you put a credit card in there that would fall out so it's probably something i just don't know but let me know if you know what this slot is for um and then it has this nice little so besides that pocket and then this is just another one of the things that come out it has this nice little um it says lists and notes 28 sheets webster's pages and this is a little indented too um I don't know if it's from the rings or what, like you probably can't see it, but there's some marks, whoops, some marks and things on it, but I'm okay with it. So it's a nice little notepad that I think is nice to write quick lists and then you could tear it off. So what would be nice in the future is if Webster's Pages sells like these refill things, whether it be this little list thing or if somebody wanted to buy an additional pocket thing. I'm sure there's other places you can buy like generic ones, but you know, just to have little certain things or if something got messed up in here, because I'm sure mistakes are made and I know there's erasable pens and things like that. So, so, um, and then I didn't mention the interior is, you wouldn't, you would think it would be like this here. It's like a gray and then a, um, a white here, which is nice. And again, with the gold foiling. So, um, they have a little, uh, folio that I didn't want to spend the $15 on, but it's nice. You can have all your little planner accessories and kind of keep it with it. So, and here's just your little pen holder. If you want to get a fancy pen, like I showed, and then again, there's the back. So hopefully you guys stayed with me for that. And, um, I'm really excited about my planner. So if anybody has any suggestions or, um, wants to mention, thank you for, if you stayed with me to the end of this. So if anybody has any suggestions on eBay shops or anything that makes planning more fun or easy or anything that you like, let me know. And thank you for staying with me for this video and viewing my new, um, teal and white stripe Webster pages planner. And let me know if you have any questions. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.